Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a single serve eggnog recipe. that I stole from Leandro from The Educated Barfly. So if you want to check out the original recipe, I'll link to that in the description below. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's summer here in Australia. So normally uh, in my last video, I mentioned it's like 40, 40 degrees, usually on Christmas day here in South Australia. So for us, it's a little bit strange drinking wintry creamy cocktails or an eggnog over Christmas. But this is for you guys over there uh, in the States and other cold, colder countries. Um, and as I said, uh, this particular recipe is from Leandro. So it's a, a mix of a higher proof uh, rye forward whiskey and Smith & Cross, a Jamaican um, overproof rum. Uh, this one sits at 57% and it's gonna add some overripe bananas and a little bit of a funk to, to the cocktail. Um, so 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. Uh, I think Leandro made this while he was working at Coles, um, Coles Bar. And he he specifically calls for Smith & Cross uh, and then followed by not Wild Turkey 101, but high rye, higher proof uh, whiskey. Uh, normally old granddad uh, bonded bourbon, but here it's not easily obtainable, um, not readily available. So, and I happen to have the, the Turkey 101, so I think that will work reasonably well. Uh, same measurement, 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce, followed by cream. This is uh, just a, he says heavy cream, this is just a pouring cream, which means I'm gonna have to give it a really good shake to whip that cream. And then half an ounce, 15 mil of a one to one simple syrup. As I said, I have a not, I have a not. <laughs> As I said, I haven't really drunk a lot of uh, eggnogs in the past. I've only maybe once or twice. So I'm keen to give this a shot and give you my feedback. A little bit of grated nutmeg into the shaker, followed by some cinnamon. Beautiful. Then throw in the egg, and I know people are gonna tell me 101, I've, I've done it in the wrong order. I shouldn't crack my egg straight in. But just make sure you don't get shell in the drink. <laughs> okay, one large cube. Leandro specifically called for a big cube, um, one solid cube, but he did use a little small one and he kept shaking until the whole, the whole cube was gone, but this is larger than his, so let's give it a really good shake. I should dry shake. Dry shake first. <laughs> I feel like I'm shaking hard enough to emulsify the egg anyway. Hopefully. Ooh, that looks good. That looks creamy. That's so good. Ooh, had a breath. I feel like this is gonna to be too big a volume for this glass, potentially, but I really like this glass. Oh, I'm <laughs> need to catch my breath. And for garnish, a little bit more cinnamon. A little bit more nutmeg. <laughs> they have a single serve eggnog recipe thanks to Leandro. Make sure you check out his video, check out his channel if you haven't already. And give him a sub. Merry Christmas. Cheers. <laughs> I'm still out of breath. Oh man. That is delicious, 100%. You should try this recipe. Um, just gonna catch my breath still. 
Mm. 100%, that is delicious. You get that um, thick, creamy texture, uh, and that's a really good combination of high-proof rye, rye whiskey as well as the Smith & Cross. A little bit of funkiness to it. Um, as I said before, it's, it's a good thing, like the overripe banana kind of flavor to it. This makes me want to have a cold, cold Christmas so I can drink this. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a great Christmas. And I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.